so our first team up is from Capitol High School. It is Pat Scratch with Crown of Chaos. Okay, so uh, this is our game Crown of Chaos, and it's made by our team Cash Grass Studios. And the people that were doing it is Jude, who is currently test driving, who is our music engineer creating music and that kind of stuff. I was the lead coder, my name is Sander. Uh, Roman was our lead artist, who was doing all the art. Uh, Leo was our Tom Lab manager, and he was our assistant coder. And then we had Spencer, who was doing lead sound engineering, which is doing like sound effects, and also helping with uh, fine-tuning the boss fight. Um, and now we'll play the beginning cutscene, and I'll be quiet for that. Once there was a funny adventure filled with courage and strength. He fought the demons across the land and brought great peace to all of us. But there was one demon stronger than them all, the king of chaos. But it was not the king himself that had power, but the crown bestowing it upon its wearer. I keep the crown to this day, grandson. Wow, that's pretty cool. Can I go, can I go see it sometime? No, stupid boy. Go to bed. Oh, okay. Well, if Grandpa won't let me see it, I'll go find it myself. Next morning. Oh, sweet criminy Christmas. What did you do, Jimmy? So, after the cutscene, you were spawning in front of the house that you were seeing in the cutscene. Um, the land has been plunged into chaos, and talking to some of the villagers waiting space will talk about, oh, like, it's like, oh, no, help us. Um, and we have quests set up in the game. Um, to the far right, there will be a quest where a villager will ask you to go kill a goblin for a health potion, and in return, they'll give you a more stronger health potion. Um, the goblins, they have two different phases, one which where there's free roaming, and so you'll find them randomly around. And when you get close enough, they'll start chasing you and they'll um, swing the sword at you. Um, if... keep going to the right. Apologies. Um, while you're walking around, you can see um, flowers and there'll be uh, rocks around to kind of indicate that you're moving. And there's the goblin. Um, left click swings your cane and it seems our just driver got two people. And you'll get a health potion in return. And so walking back up to the villager, they'll give you a mind skill yeah. Um And so turning back into quest will give you the big health potion, which is right there. And instead of just covering one health potion, which usually does with a regular potion, it's over to cover three. Um, and you'll tell you to go up to the swamp to find a witch, and on the way there you'll see giant footprints which kind of uh, leads the player to go to the um, boss layer. And in the swamp area you have the witch, and she'll ask you to um, find some toad legs or toad tongues to give it to her for um, something that'll help you out during the boss fight. And the uh, toads kind of just jump around, and when you kill it, they'll give you the toad tongue and you give it back to the witch. And she'll give you a potion of smog, which clears any projectiles that are on the screen, which is, maintained, which is mainly useful for the boss fight, which we'll be showing now, if you can head over there. Um, the rocks that are laid about, they don't really do anything. They, they can just be pushed around to just interact with. Um, and once you approach the tunnel, it'll be kind of like narrow to kind of streamline the player. And upon entering the boss's lair, it'll play the intro song, and then the melody will start. The boss fight is a bullet hell, which it shoots like in a shotgun array. And each time you hit the tail, which is where the weak point is, it'll knock you back as soon as the beginning. Uh, if you drink the potion of smog, it'll clear out everything on the screen, like so. Um, and the boss takes five hits to take to be taken down, and I think he's currently on his last health. No, yeah. Um, and so when you kill him, it'll play the victory song, and that's.